Cereal. Way too much cereal. Must. Make it. Up. Cornflakes. They're just the best. And I'm so glad that they come in like gigantic boxes because this has lasted me for a long time, which is like two days. Welcome back to another video, guys. <laughs> What's going on guys? So it is Friday right now. I woke up about 8.30 this morning and I woke up with a pounding headache, but it's Friday, so I need to be thankful. I need to be glad that I have my body, I'm here. Um, I need to be thankful for a lot of things. Yeah, so it is about noon-ish right now and I am pretty much doing nothing today. It's Friday, so I have no real plan for the day. I am probably going to get some food and go on a uh, little bike ride for Friday. Why not? Currently, my other bike is out of commission with a new little tool I had put on it, so I'm excited for it to get back and it should be back today. Finally stepped it up to a 32. I'm very excited. Look at all that sexiness. Don't worry guys, I realize you're not all cyclists and you probably have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. But if you are a cyclist and you still don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I've got really bad news. But for the time being, I gotta ride Annabelle. That kinda sounds weird. You guys are watching yourselves being filmed. Do you know about Inception? I've just Inceptionized you because you are in the next video. Instagram live stream. Fact of the matter is, you can over, you can overthink the shit out of your nutrition, and that's purely what this is. Is pickled? Is kimchi going to kill me? Rice with arsenic in it? Uh, how how soon until I die? It's like holy mother. I have the worst headache on the planet right now for whatever reason. It's kind of interesting that when I sleep more, I feel worse. Hopefully, some cereal will help. Cornflakes, they're just the best. And I'm so glad that they come in like gigantic boxes because this has lasted me for a long time, which is like two days, which is a long time to me for cereal. And if you guys want to see 15 year old Eric attempt to play guitar on Facebook eight years ago, oh my goodness, I have like a love hate relationship with Facebook memories, but this is really amusing to me. So much amusement. So much amusement. <laughs> cereal. Way too much cereal. Must make it. Welcome back to another video, guys. And I can finally say, the new shirts are here. Well, the first one, I guess. Well, guys, they're finally here. Well, the first one is, you better stay tuned because the full line will be released really soon. Woo, I'm excited. A few moments later. Well, I'm gonna be ending my night by donating my share from the Cal Food Education. Once again, everybody, this was a huge success and I really look forward to doing more things like this very, very soon. $825, everybody. Absolutely insane on so many different levels. Yeah, 825 bucks. Of course, GoFundMe's gotta get their cut, right? I'll just say $754 raised. Damn, these shirts look fresh. Well, shit, guys. It's that part of the video where I talk about what happened during the Californication. Three minutes and 50 seconds, guys. Three and a half minutes, I think. Or I guess you could say the results of the Californication. 
Now chances are you guys clicked on this video because you saw my cringy thumbnail that I threw together this morning in Photoshop. I'm learning new things, what can I say? Anyways everybody, I just get so many questions a lot. I feel like it's good to do these little like Q and A's here and there. The first big question I got, Eric, how much weight did you gain? The answer is pretty straightforward. I have no fucking idea. But here's what I look like before and after the Californication. And this is what I look like after Californication. I've always stated I do not weigh myself, I don't believe in weighing myself. Uh, what really matters here guys is enjoying the experience, I guess. Uh, me going away and uh, just not even being at home, I didn't really get the chance to ride my bike at all really. I just went and drove to a bunch of different places and ate a bunch of food. That's pretty much it. Thinking about this, I like to think about it the same as how I tell my clients to think about it is instead of weight loss or weight gain, think about fat loss. It's the same with these. Don't think about weight gain. Don't think about the weight on the scale because the weight you may gain from these really is just a bunch of water and glycogen and yeah that's pretty much it actual body fat I have no idea again I probably put on a few pounds of body fat and I expect to be putting on a lot more with how this month is gonna go when you guys ask me these questions about you know how many calories I eat on a normal day uh, how much weight I gain from all these uh, what types of food challenges you should do all this stuff you guys have to realize one thing. If you're gonna worry about your body fat percentage after a food challenge, you have no business doing food challenges. You have no business doing food challenges. I just see so many of these calorie challenges of these you know, fitness channels doing more of them. Food challenges just in general on YouTube now and it's something that I feel like I need to make more clear to people. On another note, I need to get some food. I need dinner. <laughs> Fried fish night is the best, of course. Veggies, I haven't had jasmine rice in a while either. Crispiness though, Whew. always on point. I love oven fried fish night, what can I say? I mean shit guys, I was even on YouTube last night and I don't even really watch food videos on YouTube and I stumbled upon this fitness channel, this guy, and he was doing a chicken wing challenge. He was literally weighing out every single wing after the challenge just to see how much of the meat he'd actually eaten so he could input it into my fitness pal. It's like guys, come on, really? Start being okay with fat gain. Body fat is demonized in our society. It's seen as this negative thing. It's like if you're not below 8% body fat, if you're not shredded, you're obviously just not in shape. People just won't take you seriously. Therefore, you just don't know anything about nutrition and if you have plans online you're just a fraud gotta love that online couching guys Whew. here are a few key points to know when doing food challenges the recovery day or the day after isn't really the most fun but your body weight your body fat it all levels out I promise another thing is you have to drink a lot of water the types of challenges you do will matter think about it something high in sodium and fat it's gonna bloat you and probably have more calories than something that's high in sugar overall with how things are going right now also I know a very small number of you guys out there hate the fact that youtubers can can do this as a full-time job. You hate the fact that we can make a living for ourselves this way. So recently we've seen some pretty big advertisers decide they no longer want to advertise on YouTube and even on a grander scale they no longer want to advertise with Google and their AdSense program which is basically what makes YouTube ads work. I feel like I get a lot more out of doing like full days of eating and just more uh, call me crazy but sustainable stuff so I'll be probably doing more of that on the other hand I have shown you guys that I'm doing a little self experiment this month with nixing artificial sweeteners or limiting them I should say but I'm also taking this as another chance to do another little self experiment on body fat that I'll probably cover in another video I will say everybody I got my next contest coming up it's gonna be next Saturday I'll be competing against the man the myth the legend Takiro Kobayashi and of course my girl Molly Skyler is gonna be there too that's why you guys should be on my social media be sure to follow along Facebook snapchat Twitter Instagram you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Uh, no.